valued viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today, I was going through my viewer suggestions and this one popped to the surface. It was, Cap, do A-10s versus Battleship. I just had to do that. It's just so stupid and so GR. Now, usually, I have to think of some kind of scenario, like Mr. President did this and therefore we're having to do this fight. I can't think of any scenario why A-10 Warthogs might be attacking a 1940s battleship. So you're going to have to figure that out for me, but they are doing it. The Yamato, the biggest, most powerful, most heavyweight battleship the world has ever seen. 72,000 tons, bristling with cannon. 9 18 inch guns, 12 6 inch guns, 12 5 inch guns, 24 25 mil guns. 30 miles from Akrotiri is the Yamato, defended by six Kamikaze class destroyers. We've got to go and blow it up. We'll do two distinct runs. The first run we'll do with standoff weapons, laser guided bombs, and Maverick air to ground missiles. The second run will be non-guided, non-standoff weapons, so basically World War II tech guns and free fall bombs. We have nine pilots today. Cap, Sock, Matrix, Poosh, Bird, Cannibal, Drop, Salsa, Violet, say hello. 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 Five of them will be in the A-10A because it's all they've got, and for the standoff scenario, all it can carry is Maverick. So six Maverick and no gun. There will be no gun in the first run, guys. The more advanced pilots will be in A-10Cs. My one will have... A teapot, four 500-pound laser-guided bombs, and six Mavericks. Violet will have seven 500-pound laser-guided bombs, one 2,000-pound laser-guided bomb, and six Mavericks, and a teapot and no gun. Matrix will be real friggin' heavy with six 2,000-pound laser-guided bombs and one teapot. And finally, Poosh will be the same. As Matrix, we haven't tested this and I can't really remember how to fly this plane, but we're going to do our best. First of all, standoff predictions. Are we going to have any problems dropping these things from 20 odd thousand feet with laser guided bombs and self guided Mavericks? How fast no. are we moving? No. 25 miles. We're not going to have any problems dropping. Right, stand by for test one. Welcome in viewers, we're just getting ready to go. Right, and this means we have to remind ourselves how to fly to A10C. Master Arms. TGP laser check down here mark point check down here scorpion where would that be uh, we've not we, the tech and radio. we wanted to have a practice but we've run out of time so we're just gonna have to do this live valued viewers so expect hilarity uh, Mav I know I've got to do Mav EO on and then back to Dismas check uh, teapot 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 check guys I think that's as much as I can do on the ground Teapot to warming up, Mavs warming up. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to practice, so I don't know how high the Yamato can shoot. Does anyone have an inkling of how high she would be able to engage? She should be able to with the big guns, not the 18-inch you know, guns, mm -hmm. but the 5-inch guns should be able to get you over 20,000 feet pretty well, easily. How high well, in that case can a loaded A-10 go, guys? I guess we'll find out. All right. If she had the Mark III incendiary, um, an incendiary round, she could shoot anti-aircraft with the A-10. Wow, that would be amazing to if she, she won't because I've programmed her and she won't. In, in fact, uh, I've set her up with uh, 8,000 hit points viewers. A uh, super carrier set up at 5,500 hit points. I've set her up at 8,000, so literally the most powerful ship ever. Um, was she actually any good? Not really. She By the time she was in service, she was hopelessly out of date. Um, you know, it was all aeroplanes and aircraft carriers by that point. In the final battle where she was sunk, she did fire her main guns at the aircraft, but it had no effect. Except the giving them a good fright. Mm -hmm. Probably so it was a good show. <laughs> sonic, sonic boom of an 18-inch shell going past your, a ton and a half shell going past your uh, SDB or whatever. Would, uh, yeah, that would do the trick, won't it? Guys, is anyone not on the runway? Guys, no one's allowed to attack until I say, or even get within 10 miles until I say, I want to do it as best as we can. Uh, lead, please take us off. Head towards the baddies, but do not get within 10 miles, or there will be some disciplinaries. No respawning unless you get a lag out or something. All right, viewers, get ready for A10. We hardly get to use this anymore. It's just, it is relevant. I was going to say it's not relevant, but it's just not really, uh, I don't know. It's not useful in the battles that we do. We, we do big, fast moving battles with Sukhois in the air and, and, and J15s in the air, you know, modern. 2020s fighters and A10 just has no place in that battlefield hence we never get to use it unless we're doing since situations like this it just doesn't fit our battles very well Jesus we're going fast there we go all right Violet there's your 
your name, which it is. Flaps up. Where's the flap indicator, anyone? There it is. Visual. I usually keep my flaps at full until I'm, oh. I'm at about 175. Oh, well, there you go. You're the pro. You're the pro here. I'm not. I'm still 10. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to select my bombs, Violet, because I'm going to be using my bombs first. Copy. Um, any idea when T-Pod becomes active? Oh, it is active. Right, I've got not soy um, air to ground mode. Me remembering a thing. Check the Scorpion. Scorpion's on. Um, if you don't own this plane, value viewers, it's 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 a damn fine plane. It's not easy. I would say it's debatably really the hardest thing there is in the game. So uh, not for beginners would be my suggestion. But everyone's different. Ladies and gentlemen, the A10C Warthog! Thunderbolt tube, but Warthog! What's the difference between the A and the C? The, they're actually the same airframe, literally identical, more or less. Uh, the C was modernised in the, 20, uh, the 2000s, I think in 2004 it was modernised, um, with um, podded uh, sensors, more modern weapons, more modern systems, camera mounted display, and so on. The airframe is basically the same, same engines. Two, three, zero. Happy. We do a bit of formation while everything's all warming up. Okay, my teapot is active. Like I said, guys, no one fires until I say, because we've got to set all our sensors up and stuff, and it's going to take a little while. So. Just come back a little way on the power, Violet. I think like a Group A10 mission, viewers. Um, let's talk a bit about the World War II battleship mods, viewers. Uh, they're not really working at the moment, to be honest. Hence, you haven't seen any battleship stuff from us for a while. The, the game's developed, but it's left the, the mods behind. And like I said, most of the guns don't really work on them and stuff now. We, at Grim Reapers, are going to modernise them later in the year. It'll take a while. And it's very frustrating. I've tried doing it myself, and it's impossible. We need a real big brain to, to, to do it. Uh, and then we'll start using them properly again. But until then, there's not much use of using them. They're just not really working very well. On Vector Violet Wyler, uh, you know what we need? We need altitude. We ain't going to do much use of 5,000 feet. Can this thing climb? Yeah. Increasing altitude uh, very slowly. Man, this thing's a bucket. Love it, but it's a friggin' bucket. And it's afterburners. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm fine with William Six Mavericks. <laughs> I'm going to be doing about a 4% or 4 degree climb. When they updated it to the C version, it also started carrying a lot heavier, bigger, heavier weapons and more of them for the capacity to carry that. So they should have they should have doubled the engine's power. Um, they should have literally put whopping great engines on it, I think. Being painfully slow, it turns out, was actually very useful uh, for its usage. There is nothing better than having a slow, stable aircraft for CAS work, close air support, and hence uh, Perform very admirably in many conflicts. Well, and hence it's still a, it's still a thing. How old is the A10 now? Uh, and these actual airframes that we're in here, the C models, are the original airframes from the 1970s, so they're 50 years old now, viewers, and still going. So, kudos. Very nice. All right, guys, I am ordering you to leave formation now and let's start concentrating on ourselves. Uh, don't get too close because in case you do get shot and um, set your sensors up but uh, you do not have permission to fire we'll do a combined attack distance to target is wow it's, god this thing is slow i'm gonna put the afterburners on um, i'm a little bit lighter than you violet so i'm going ahead of you and i'm getting up high Happy. climb climb wow even my uh counter is working Come on. you're doing anything oh i see them i see them right so let's get the scorpion. The scorpion is on. Check. I need to get the scorpion soy. Uh, TMS forward. Uh, Coolie back long. Or Coolie back short. I thought it was in a friggin' F-16. Alright. Okay. Um, I'm going to put my crosshair on the Yamato. And then I'm going to TMS forward long to spear. Or should I mark point it, Violet? Uh, you can mark point it. And mark. it should set it as your speed. Yeah, I've got a castle there. How do I now put my T-Bod looking at the castle, please? Is it is it uh, China Long? Yes, China Forward Long. Stand by. Real quick, yes. if you want to broadcast your speed, do TMS Left Long. Ah, that's too much for me, Violet. I'm just going to do myself today. Right, look at me flying the A-10 viewers and I'm remembering a thing with Violet's help, I should say. Is it Coolie Short for Zoom In, Zoom Out? No, is it China Short for Zoom In, Zoom Out? Uh, no, it's going to be... DMS forward and aft. Thank you. 
All right, I have already got my teapot on the ship. Um, I want to transition to a point track, please, Violet. Um, what is it? With your teapot soid, it's going to be TMS up short. Ah, I got my own aeroplane in the way. The, the annoyance of potted sensors, viewers. Does anyone manage to get a point track on her? The ATNAs are. I can't get a point track. Have you managed to get a point track on her, Violet? I. I do not have visual on that. Well, you do because you're right next to it, FYI. I'm ready to fire in res. Alright, we'll just have to wait. And any aid to Matrix, have you managed to get a point track? It's not point track, it's not working for me. I hope my uh, spy seems to be stuck on a waypoint somewhere. Got to be within about 20 miles. Yeah, I'm within 20 miles, alright. We are. Okay. Sorry for the phone, viewers. Yamato, or can we go for the kamikaze also? Um, I would prefer to go uh, for Yamato. Point track, but it's not tracking it yet. It'll start tracking it at 15 nautical miles. What did you say, 15? Affirm. All right, that's what it is. The rest of you get in orbit, please, or whatever you need to do. Let's not get shot down. I will not let you have another life. One thing I noticed that annoys me already, viewers, is everything is getting in the way of my friggin' teapot. Look at that. Right, that is so annoying. Maverick lot. Ready for firing. So I'm flying wrong. I must be flying wrong. I'm at 15,000. I'm not high enough, viewers. I think it's because I'm not high enough. Let's go up a little bit. Rifle. Oh, fuck's sake, bird. How many times? Don't fire. How many times did I say, please don't fire? Violet, do you know if which swing our teapot is on? Right wing. Roger. Right. Oh, I got a point track. I got a point track. Violet, I did it. Right, um, Violet, how do I now ensure that my teapot is speed, please? TMS forward long. TMS forward long. Done. I need to now get CCRP for my weapon viewers. I am learning slowly. So master mode, guns, CCRP, CCRP. So I've now got a speed on the boat. I'm aware we've all got the same laser code. It won't matter. We're all aiming for the same thing. I've now got speed on the boat on a point track. I've now got CCRP selected. That's it, isn't it, guys? Have I missed anything? Nope. Guys, is anyone who is not ready to fire? Matrix. Right, I'm just going to wait for Matrix. Um, no, I was just looking for the big uh, battleship, so it's no more. Ah. I'll do a helmet mounted. Roger. Why is it on fire? Oh, it's not. It's From just. Birds, Maverick. Ignore the fire, it's like one pixel damaged. Hi viewers, you, see, you can start to see the power of the A10 at this point. Talking points, viewers, to keep you entertained. That, no, the bottom right of that screen is the slant range. That's a isometric 3D range in miles. 10.6 miles, or nautical miles. On the screen you get a lateral range. 12 miles, you see where it says 12M. But that's not right. No, ignore that. I don't know what that means. I know what it is. That is to the mark point. That is to mark point A. Whereas that there is the slant range to the uh, actual target, the speed. So that's mark point A there, and that's the target there. You see it's wedding cake. Uh oh, someone's getting... No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. See the wedding cake viewers, that means that's a speed, a sensor point of interest for a target. Uh, progress, progress matrix. Yeah, give us a few minutes. This bloody nerdy aeroplane, this. Right. How much damage would a Maverick actually do to a battleship? Uh, you know what? I'm starting to change my mind about the how good these battleships were. It wouldn't do any damage to the structure of the ship, obviously it's armoured, but it would start to take out sensors. Even a World War II ship had various sensors on it to do its ranging, its gunnery and stuff. I reckon even a Maverick would do significant damage to its, uh, if it did a, mid, a midships hit, to its sensors, to its bridge and stuff like that. I think it would wreak havoc on our gunner stations. Right. I mean, just Things think like aircraft cannon, anti-aircraft cannons. Yeah, I mean, and also think about the concussive effect and stuff like that. Deck you also got to remember they had wooden decks. No, they didn't actually. They had wooden decks, Violet, but whenever they went into, went into combat, they ordered the crew to rip the wooden decks up and throw them off ship. So they never actually had wooden decks, battleships. Uh, and that, that stemmed from World War One, actually. Well, the Matrix has a C SPI on the battleship. All right, guys, you have permission to rock in. All right, viewers, here we go. Well done, everyone, for getting everything done. Pilot turning it's not easy if this is not your bag, and it's certainly not my bag. CCRP symbology, climbing to above Angels 20. Pilot rifle. It's quick. Cap, five miles, waiting for my symbology. Come on, symbology. Rifle two. Come on, symbology. Rifle three. I've removed everyone's gun ammo viewers because this is, I'm forcing people to stand off. Guys, once you're out of standoff weapons, you will RTB. Cap, countdown. 
Paint Cannon bomb, so rifle time six. Time six. Bomb away. Bomb away. Cap, laser on. Right, Viewingtons. It's time six. There's just so much going on here. I think my bomb's already hit. I've taken a hit. Uh, no getting hit. I am missing the Bang. outer half of my left wing. Yeah, uh, the ships are firing. Right, well, don't be there. Cap! I got a hit! 25% with my bomb. Good AGM, someone. Everyone, maintain discipline. You should not be getting shot. If you're getting shot, you're doing it wrong. You're gonna need to get above 10,000 feet. I just saw a bunch of cannon go. shots swing past right by my yeah. cannon. Oh, more smacks on your mat your mato. Well done, Rippler. He's still got loads of health yet left, guys. Cap's going back in for another bomb. You went to Winchester, you will RTB, and you can put it on autopilot and watch the rest of us. All right, guys, lots of killing to do yet. Yeah? Our bombs are just not penetrating that deck, as would probably not happen. I don't know. It's like 18 charmer on this ship, isn't it, on the deck? I don't know. I don't know. You guys know more than me. One of the problems is there's so much smoke, I can't uh, discriminate the target through all the smoke. I'll uh, extend forward of fleet and uh, run in from the bow. Running in. I'm staying over 20,000 feet, that's why I'm not getting shot, by the way. I'm going to check out some damage. That's, who's hit? It was uh, Violet. Oh, Violet's off the screen. Are you still flying, Violet? Nope. Ha! Huh, Violet's dead. Right. Oh, well, there you go. One plane down already. But plenty to go yet. You know what? This is going to be harder than I thought, guys. Turns out, Yamato, wherever she is, there is a lot of smoke, isn't there? But there would be. Yamato is a real tough little missus. But how many bombs has she taken? Not enough is the answer. Cap turning in for bombing. Yamato still has about two thirds of two thirds of its health left. Long pilot. Pilot, is there any way I can ripple three bombs at once? You would have to go into the profile settings. No, that's not, that's not doing that's, it. That's that's gonna be complicated. Cap running in, I'll be lazing shortly. Oh god, my CCRP symbology's disappeared. Why would that be? Let me check them on CCRP. Guns, CCRP, CCRP. No, I've got it back. And cap. Bomb away! Woohoo! Laser on. Laser on. Viewers, did you see that? Me dropping a bomb with a teapot on a moving target in a live fire with no practice. Woohoo! Right, will it track? Hells yeah! Look at that, Viewingtons. Oh, I just, I'm fascinated to know how much damage that would do in real life. Fascinated viewers. It's not a penetrator type. It's not a GBU-24, so... Good 35%. Oh my god, she's tough. Cap, running in for next hit. We've got our S together now, viewers. Got all, all our bugs worked out. We're going to need you, Matrix. I haven't got enough firepower here to kill this thing. Yeah, that's why I'm taking my time. Uh, feel free to use Violet. She's not in an aeroplane anymore. She'll be able to help you debug. The Yamato, the one generating the big smoke. Yes, sir. Poosh, how are you doing? You're supposed to be good at this. I'm coming in. Okay, I've got a secure point track on the battleship. Alright guys, make sure you speed it with TMS forward long. Four and a half miles, cap running in for another bomb. I think it's a bit annoying that you can't just tier, that you can't just UFC multiple bombs like you can in a fog. What you could do, Cap, is just go straight up lays, like have one person lays and have everybody else just drop on. Yeah, we will do that, but we're not actually struggling at the moment, so. Cap. Yeah! Lays on. Cap is sparkle, cap is sparkle. When, it, sparkle. when the L's flashing, it means it's doing it, yeah, guys? Yes. Uh, oh, shit, it's not guiding. Bombs it's... away. Hang on, that's not my bomb, that's not my bomb. The GBU-10 is not guiding, the GBU-500 is guiding. So, Matrix has got a problem there. Can you try and diagnose Matrix's bomb and why it's not guiding, Violet? Uh, I don't Mine know is. why his wouldn't be guiding. Right, well, that's your job. That's the thing I'm giving you to do right now. Cap hit. 40, 38% down, oh my god. So it's gone in. My bombs aren't powerful enough, guys. I can't do it. I've got one more bomb. Hey, Cap, would you like me to respawn? No, I wouldn't. Why would you, you know, allow you to respawn? Why is the matter with everyone today? Firing even though I told you not to fire. And no lives, no respawn, so you fly into a ship and get shot. No, you can't. You'll play the game properly, pilot. The useful thing you can do now is help the people that are struggling. So try and help Matrix. Yeah. Uh, Matrix, was your laser firing? Yep, uh, 1688 and 1688. I wonder, Matrix, if it, I was lasing at the same time and it, it messed the laser up. My best Possibly. Hit. That may have been the issue. Roger, I'm heading for my last bomb, so that won't be an issue for much longer, guys. Target's getting obscured by yep. smoke. I'm aware. Yeah, that is always the issue. I'm aware. Can we get Matrix? Yeah, no, it's, that's the issue. Smoke. 
Just not going to be as lazy as in game. Wrong way. Cap lazy, cap lazy, cap lazy. Sorry if it messes anyone else up. One on sale, sir. About freaking time, by the way. Good rifle. Good yeah, hit. Good hit. Oh, you're smashing it. Yeah, my has got 50% health for me. Alright, we're getting there, guys. My bomb's just caught the basket. Or the laser, sorry. Yeah, mine got wiped out by the smoke. Alright, guys. Uh, are you on IR or are you on CCD, by the way? I'm on uh, uh, Black Hot. Bomb away. Cap. Hit. 49% damage. Right, my laser's off and I won't be turning it on again, guys. So, laser's all yours. Right, see, Matrix. If we can get one of these Matrix bombs to hit viewers, we'll kill it. Such a powerful bomb. The problem is he can't get it on target. And I don't know what he's doing wrong. And I don't know what to do about it. Yeah, yeah laser's falling. firing. Point track is on. It's falling well behind. What do is you reckon, your T-Pod set to your speed? Yeah. Is he not? Is it? Is he dropping it wrong, guys? Is he, is he not dropping yeah. in the basket? Are you um, dropping with the CCRP symbology matrix? Yep. How weird. Uh, from from what I understand, he's not even on course for intercept with the ships. He's way behind them. There we yep. go. You're using the the thing is matrix. Your symbology is based on your old mark point instead of um, instead of the ship. So we need to debug that. So I've got, uh, I've got my TGP pointing and lasing at the ship. Yeah, but what your right. CCRP Soy, your symbology? TGP? Your CCRP is symbology yeah, is ignoring. Tis, tis soy. Alright, now do TMS up long. I've got a point track with my T-Pod, but I need to transfer that over to right, my... Right, okay, let's try that. I need to transfer it over to my Maverick. How do I do that, Violet? Your T-Pod is, so, er, is your speed, right? Uh, it's speed and soy and tracking, yep. Alright, uh, China forward long. Stand by, I'm going to wait until I've been the kind of rough cone of the Maverick. Okay, in limits, China forward long. Bomb away. Looks like it should be in the basket this time. Maybe. Tracking, Violet, tracking. How do I get it to fire now? Weapon release. The laser's not activated for that bomb. No track launch. Hey, I need to do something else, Violet. I'm missing a oh, step. Uh, saw your Maverick screen Sorry. and then do TMS up short. TMS up short. Fired. Thank you. Me doing a thing, viewers. Ripple times, uh, whatever, words. A whole bunch of fucking Mavericks. And they all hit. Oh, God, I'm having a good day, viewers. Did you see that? Wowee. 58% damage. I am Winchester and I'm RTB, guys. It's all up to you. Shit, no, I've got one more Maverick. I don't know why, but my HUD is generating correct CCRP symbology for delivery on the ship. What about getting him to manually release it? We'll call him in by eye, guys. We'll put him in the basket by eye. That'll work. Or even just CCIP drop it, Matrix. As long as you're lazing, it'll track. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm in the right. I'm in the right place for it. Yeah, one person lays, and the rest, uh, everybody else, just goes CCI. I'm up for lazing. Is there a burnout time on the laser? Point track lazing I... symbology is good. Probably several minutes, if any. I'm happy to laze. Someone needs it. I've just got to go and put this last thing in here, guys. I'm trying to have forward long. Check. Bomb away. Well done. Right. Watching the bomb. Now I'm Winchester. Is the laser active? No, there's no laser. Yep. Yes, it yep, is. It. Yes, it is, there Matrix. We go. Right, right finally. Right, viewers. A thing's definitely happening right now. Smash. Die, Yamato. Come on. That's 2,000 pounds with a non-penetrator, but it will hit, and it'll do a lot of damage. What well, a Matrix for getting your shit oh. sorted. Report percentage. 50%. Say again. 60. I've got two more bombs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, okay. It's so. It's more than 60. One to two more bombs will kill it. Right! Oh, no. On a Matrix, I'm gonna leave everything to you now on RTB. RTB vector, please, Violet. 051, or 050. Yup. Shut my systems down, turn my T bot off. Off, 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 off. Viewers, all I've got to remember now is the RTB, is the autopilot. It can't be that hard. Where is it? Where is it? I remember my training. There it is. Autopilot on! Supercap! Matrix, the ship is uh, slowing down, it's near the back of the feet Yep, yeah, I've got a good point, right? I've just got to sink the son of a bitch now. Look at her. She is not happy. Matrix in. Bomb away. Bomb away, Matrix. Right, so please guide. Please guide. Oh, I don't know if that's in the basket, guys. Oh, yes, it is. Sorry, it is in the basket. I just need a laser now. Confirm L flashing. Yep. Yes, it's guiding. There it goes. Matrix is doing his friggin' shit now. Viewers. 
We've made a meal of it, but we've only lost one A10, and this may even kill it, guys. Well done, everyone. Remember, you, we don't get to practice this. I just get the guys to turn up, and that's it. They've got to remember how to do it. BDA. Uh, it's saying 72%. Yeah, get one more bomb in it, guys, and we'll probably call that dead. She's a tough bitch, guys. She is a real tough bitch. Oh, pooch has got the world supply of weapons as well. I guess that's a good thing. I went down early so I could help she troubleshoot. She is. And it's actually quite good for her. <laughs> she is slowing down. She probably is now in the smoke of the um, kamikaze destroyer off her port see. side. Yeah. Okay, the good thing is she's going to isolate. She can't keep up with the others. Jesus, the smoke! You guys went wrong! If you guys attack from the Front. Uh, starboard bow... Mm -hmm. You would, um, it's clear of smoke in that direction. Jesus, she is so obscured, guys. Look at that, viewers. Even a real A-10 couldn't, wouldn't be able to attack it. You need to be able to see the thing if you, if you want to attack it. So the boys are in a bit of trouble. They may even have to dumb drop their bombs, which is problematic. Obviously, this is due to damage, but World War II ships did deploy smoke as can't measure. I was unaware of that. Drop. Yeah, and the Yamato, I think, had 24-inch armor belts. Bomb away. Okay, the drop location is good, basket is good, confirm lays. Confirm. Alright, it should catch. Viewers, the, the bomb is dropped, it has to get into something called a basket, which is the... There it is, detection parameters, the angle of the laser. And once it finds it, it will hit every time as long as the laser is not interrupted. Could a laser see through that smoke in real life? I don't know, you tell me. It's probably going to finish it off, guys. Yeah. 83%. We'll take that as dead. Oh, Poosh is going to finish her off. Look. Go on, Poosh. Drop everything. Fire everything. I'm late still lazing, Poosh. Uh, I'm MCCIP. It's too low. It's all right. Just drop the bombs. They'll be fine. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Poosh. Definitely sunk now. Sunk. Uh, it didn't damage it because the damage model's bugged. It's what I was saying, Valley Viewers, the damage models don't work very well now, but it's near enough. All right, guys. That was good. We made a meal of it, but we did it. Next, we're going to do non-guided weapons. Expect lots more boom boom. Got a teapot for optics, but otherwise, it's just dumb weapons. Most of us are 2,000 pound bombs. We've got a 30mm uh, cannon in the nose. Some of us may take rockets as well. Uh, and that's it. How well are predictions, guys? Bear in mind, you saw what kind of fire was coming off those suckers. How well are we going to do? It's going to hurt. Apparently, it's going to hurt. Oh, how about that? I think we're going to lose a few airplanes, but we're going to do it a lot faster this time. Oh, that's a lovely sight. Look at that, viewers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hogs. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, Sock, if you're rearming, you can catch up whenever you're ready. Go, 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 go. Make sure you wet take off. All right, viewers, we are way, 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 way overloaded. So, hope for the best, I guess. Full flaps, rotate at Violet, Violet, it really is slow, isn't it? Oof. Come on, get that nose up. Get that nose up, chap. Whoa, lift off, Captain. Come on, please. I'll give you gold. Pull the stick back further. Rawr! Yes! <laughs> Super Cap on speed. Well, it's nice learning the A10C again, value viewers. Again, we don't get to fly much, so it's nice, nice, nice. Something a bit different. Very majestic aircraft. Well, apart from the massive gun. Otherwise, very majestic aircraft. Careful not to get ahead of us, and you, no one has permission to fire in first say, guys. Oh, look at my beautifuls. That's my beautifuls right there. 50 miles to go. Right. I'm going to level off maximum speed, guys. Or else we're just going to be here all day. Updated vector break. Where's that? Heading tape. There it is. Why is it heading tape at the bottom on this plane? That's odd. 215 magnetic. Heading tape's at the bottom because otherwise it would get in the way of the gun sight. Well, that man said. We need to do a bit of um, negotiation, guys. I think it would look better if someone's ahead of me who gets chewed up first for the camera. Purely for the camera. Does anyone volunteer as tribute? I can on a gun run. No, you can't. Um, I've also got... You can't, because you're, uh, you're too far behind. Can I have a tribute who's ahead with us? Uh, drop and take it on right. Look at Drop mm. doing the thing. Drop on coming off the power. It's purely for the camera. Purely for the camera drop. For the science, you guys. That's what I said. 
science. Right, coming up the power. Prop doesn't get chewed up, and he puts all his bombs on target in one pass. That would be <laughs> nice, but but it's not going to happen, is it, Drop? No, do it drop. Not. You we should either attack straight from the tail or straight from the nose. If you believe it, you can achieve it. We'll go bite and then we'll roll in then, Drop. We'll go bite and roll in. Come on, Cap, you got to admit you want to see something amazing. I would, would love to see something amazing. Uh, lead, can we buy us left slot? Lim will come in on the stern. I'm going to guess that's where it's less defended. Assumptions make fool of me and you and some such. You notice how your Japanese buddy breaks in, just not here today, Salsa. He's doing things with F-16s, apparently. Of course, he'll get a pay cut for that, for not turning up, but he understands that. There was rumours in the last video, Cap, that he was the guy doing the presentation about the drone. How about that? That was Simba doing that, right? Mm-hmm. How about that, viewers? How do you, what do you feel about that? The guy... Oh, the guy who stood up and he said right. the thing. Did he sound Very like him? Important person. Apparently so, yeah. Oh, how about that? It's definitely not him. Apparently, <laughs> Salsa says it's not him. It's, it's what Salsa would say. He looks too in control of himself to be uh, Simba. Simba would be much more Simba. Man, it's a slow. Can't break 218 knots, viewers. Oh, 219! 220! Uh, a lot of people often say, viewers, why don't you fly higher, Cap? Why don't you fly 40,000 feet? Why don't you fly above the wallbirds? We like putting these up against wallbirds because, you know, that's actually a fair fight. You know, an F-16 is not a fair fight. And they're saying, why don't you fly faster than Wallbird? This thing can fly nearly 400 knots, why can't it fly above? Yeah, it can, until you put bombs and fuel in it. Then your fancy Wikipedia numbers don't mean anything. Look, maximum 230. Almost every Wallbird could go faster than that. So loaded, he's incredibly slow and draggy. The cannonball's taking up station on the bow end of the ships. Are you in bow? Are you okay? Nice, that will confuse the gunners. Yamato in sight, ready for potato and tomato. Huh. No, I had the other day a Mexican burger, best burger in the world ever. It's actually nothing about it. It's not a burger at all, other than by name. Do they have pimento cheese on it? No, dairy intolerant, mate. Yes, I'm weird. Do they have guacamole? Uh, shit, yeah. Like, as much as you can imagine. That does sound excellent. Oh, this plane makes a meal of everything, doesn't it? I reckon we're being outrun by Yamato at the moment, guys. Yamato, Yamato, tomato, tomato. Ooh, someone's joining our CERN group. GCAS. GCAS, not GCAS. What is it? TCAS. 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 Traffic. Traffic. Yo mama toe. Yes, your mama toe. Right, guys. I know stock's behind, but is anyone else not more or less ready to drop in? Cannibal's ready. Drop's ready. Pilot ready. Drop following you. Turning out. Try not to get shot. That's all. Cleared hot. Cleared hot. Here we go, Viewington Wewingtons. The big moment. Look, we'll definitely fall those heat seekers uh, that time when I have no idea how to use the CCIP in this. You know that time? That's the time we're looking at now, viewers. The drop go. He's not been shot at. This is amazing. They're not shooting at us. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a major problem. Isn't it? They're not being shot yeah, at. Shooting. Are you sure? Oh, they're shooting. All right, I've just not been shot at myself. Drops it. Oh my god, it chewed into pieces! Use your face, use your face, that's some kind of order. They are definitely shooting. They are definitely shooting. Cap. Bomb away! See you in- Oh my god, they really are shooting. Get off, get off, get off! Oh, I'm down! I'm alright, I'm still good. Shit, I'm not good. Punching out. Take off hands for it. Yeah, it turned out this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. That is all. Go on, bird. Go on, bird. You've got the chance to do damage. Look at the explosions in the sky. Oh, birds! Drive the plane! Yes, bird! Boom!
That is a long shot, Sock. Lots of pieces of A10 everywhere. Cluster bombs coming in. Remarkably good shot, Sock. Right, is anyone still alive apart from Sock? Matrix. Food. Salsa. Bird. Turns out we kind of got chewed up. That's far half. <laughs> I have again. Bombs away. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Things are happening. Good bombs! Good bombs, Sockington, Walkington! Bloody hell. Okay, we still got loads of guys alive. Go on, Salsa! You gotta hit it right in the middle! Right in the middle! Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you Salsa! You have permission to gun it with a Gatling gun. I want guns. And you gotta remember, the thing's moving at 25 knots, guys. Hey, hit yeah, make sure 1%. Why don't you lot? I programmed it to ripple off all seven. It only dropped one. <laughs> Welcome to DCS. <laughs> Go on, Sark. We're relying on you. I need you to hit it right in the middle. Foxer won't do. Yeah, viewers, this is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, -ho, poor old Socky Wocky. Lucky. We've done damage, 40% damage, guys. Salsa, what's Salsa got? Right, your Gatling gun. I know you've got bombs. What's going to do more damage, a Gatling gun or a thing? I don't Oh, my God. Matrix has seen wow. better days. Look at Matrix. Huh. Matrix isn't in the cockpit for me. Yeah, yeah. He, I've actually ejected. He's getting a chuff out of there. Yeah, I, clearly I trimmed it out well. So do I can get back in? <laughs> That'd be nice. It's quite a slow plane, so you can catch it up, maybe. Oh, no, not anymore. No, you yeah, I see your body. <laughs> there goes Poosh. Have a little bit of lead and hit right in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Poosh. You're doing a thing. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> it's too good. Look at those five inch guns. It's just smashing our hogs to pieces. Oh, what a great dying scene, Poosh. Great dying scene. You get a raise from zero to zero. Go on, Salsa. I don't mm. want to put pressure on you, but everyone's relying on you. Stop calling me Shirley. He's using the smoke for cover. He is, look at that. He's so clever. Feeling very generous. Oh, Salsa! Use it, please. Use it, use it. it out. You're like a rifle bullet. You're just more accurate like this. Guns. Yes, that's my Salsa. That's my Salsa. The circles <laughs> are getting smaller. The circles are getting smaller. Oh, viewers. Oh, man, that was hard work. <laughs> she is at about i don't know 65 percent um i can't guarantee the damage model was working properly i saw some rockets for instance just going through the ship and not damaging it like i said it needs a whole revamp all of the ships do but it will take probably half a year but what we saw there at the end of the day is that standoff it worked fine we only had one loss we had lots of swearing but a10c is hard to use on the fly but we did it then, like this, we just got shot to hell. It's got bristling with 70 guns or something. It's an absolutely deadly machine. We won't do any more battleship stuff for a while for the reasons I've said, but it was good fun. Any uh, follow-up from my beautifuls? I definitely think that if, in real life, we had to do this, I would come at it with a set of cluster bombs first to yeah. neutralize anti-air and then come in with ground attack. Well, that's a very good point, Stock, because in real life, what they did is they strafed the deck with guns, and that took out the air-to-air -air gunner stations. None of that's modeled in-game, so, you know, you can't do that. Or like Sock said, put a couple of cluster, bo cluster bomb, anti-infantry cluster bombs on it, everyone's dead in the, in the open gunner stations, which you can see there. Um, so that's a very different thing to real life. Yep, good point, guys. I'd have gone after it with a couple of astute submarines. Mm. Or one, GBU-24 would probably take it out. A GBU-24 is a £2,000 bomb viewer, it's like the GBU-10, but it's a penetrator. It's designed to go through hardened structures, and almost certainly it would go through this and explode inside the ship. And one bomb exploding inside the ship, as you know, pretty much destroys any ship. Or a couple of quick sinks, or if you want period, yep. a grand slam. Yeah, or to start firing a lot of at it. Right, viewers, I hope you enjoyed the thing, and bye-bye.